Why do people actually fall out of love? You either grow together or grow apart. Built up stuff not having emotional, mental, physical or other needs met lack of same activities like appreciating each other enough like before, adoring, caring attachment styles, love languages their sole contract was fulfilled. Early relationship is easy. First 6-12 months. Your sex life comes easy. You ignore a lot of things. You get a dopamine hit whenever they are near you. Everything feels perfect and you see the reddit posts here with I could see myself with this person forever then the work part happens. Sex is okay but not as spontaneous. You live together. You've assumed your household roles of cooking, cleaning, caring, fixing, spending, planning, etc. Their habits start to irritate you more. You snap a bit easier at them. Your communication suffers as you take them for granted as yours. Like something you've bought. You miss that early relationship feeling so other people start looking attractive again. This is the working part. The I have to act like I love this person more than I naturally want to. It's almost a job a bit. If you don't resentment builds. As Sagutter says you must not fall in love. You can become loving so that others can't help loving you. You tell me why people love. I've had a lot of trouble with staying in love and just seem to stop finding people attractive after a while regardless of any depth of connection or effort. Three things. One, you stop putting effort into the relationship. Court her like you don't have her yet and she'll never leave. Two, you start appreciating other people over her. Conversations, how they look, etc. Instead, she should be your measuring stick for beauty and she's the one you talk to about everything. 3. You get caught in the 50-50 trap thinking that's what a relationship is. If you think like this, then you constantly keep score and your relationship becomes transactional ill paint the living room if you have sex with me. Marriage is 100-100. Looking at what the other person is bringing to the table is a perfect recipe for disaster. Poor effort and execution. Love is a chemical response to enable species procreation through sex, but confusingly the word is also used to describe a really good friendship, so you fall in love, have sex a load, and then the chemical wears off after it does, you're either left with a person you still really like to spend time with as a human being, or you don't it's that simple really. You have to protect the relationship by investing the time. Also, do new things together it can evoke similar feelings as the early days. I've been with my husband for almost 20 years and I still love him very much. He's my best friend and my favorite person to do things with. It's different than the love we felt when we first fell for each other, but I think it deeper and more profound, if less exciting. We have also had to work at it. We have gone to therapy counseling together and individually to grow into better people and learn how to recognize and meet each other's needs. Some people crave the passion and excitement of new love and think they have fallen out of love when it changes. Other people truly start to resent their partners and fall out of love because they aren't compatible as partners anymore. Feelings of bitterness creep in when needs aren't being met. It's probably different for everyone. Married for 10 years. In fact I 35M would say I've finally grown to love the woman fully that I always knew existed 40F, but was questioning, because of insert bullshit having a real partner, one that fulfills your needs, and stays with you for the day one till finish line there is no greater matrimony. My wife knew I was her lifetime partner and I just kinda went along with it. Her conviction each day has only spurred me to match her ferocity and so far, for us, it has worked. Lack of communication them taking you for granted most people seem to think that once you're in an established relationship for a period of time, that that means you don't have to keep trying, same idea people seem to have after they get married. It's on you to keep things fresh and communicate when there's a problem in the relationship instead of doing what the majority of couples do and just hope the problem fixes itself or thinking they can read your mind. A lot of people are probably not ready to face challenges through relationships, fights, breaks, communication, leaving people and habits behind etc. So the easiest solution is break up. 